Welcome and thank you for choosing the Linicare HC107 High-Low Hospital Bed. This video will demonstrate how to assemble the HC107 from out of the box to fully assembled and ready to use. This video is for instructional purposes only and does not replace the use of the owner's manual. First, please verify that you have received the correct bed model and inspect the shipping carton for any potential damage. If damage is found, stop the assembly process and contact home care hospital beds for further instructions. Before you begin assembly, make sure that you will have ample space to work in and the area is away from traffic flow, children, or pets. Choose an assembly location near an outlet. While unpacking the bed, you will need scissors or wire cutters to remove zip ties. Safety is a primary concern. Review all the warnings and cautions in the manual and watch this video in its entirety. Be sure that you understand the instructions before proceeding. The Linicare HC107 can accommodate mattress lengths of 80, 84, or 88 inches and mattress widths of 35, 39, or 42 inches. The bed must be set correctly for your mattress. It may be necessary for two or more people to help move the box. Use caution during assembly. Be aware of lifting and crush hazards and always follow safety practices. Unboxing. Lay the box flat on the floor near a wall outlet and remove the top half of the box. Locate and cut the zip ties that keep the bed closed during shipping. We recommend removing the zip ties in two phases. Take care not to damage the bed frame or any wiring when doing this. Note, the bed will be upside down with the casters facing up to protect the frame and electrical components. Remove the zip tie from the hand pendant. With two to three people, grab the foot end and head end of the bed frame. In two steps, lift the bed out of the box and onto the side of the bed frame. Readjust your grip for better range of motion. Complete the flip and set the bed onto its casters. Remove the remaining black zip ties from the bed deck. Locate the power cord and plug it directly into a wall outlet. Use the up button on the hand pendant to raise the bed to the highest position. After the bed is raised, step on the locking lever to ensure the bed does not shift during assembly. Remove any remaining packaging material from the bed and take all parts out of the box while checking for damage. Parts. Lay out the individual parts on the floor before beginning assembly. Make sure that you received all parts, including headboard and footboard, headboard and footboard frame mounting brackets, width and length mattress retainers, wall bumper bar, and side rails. Notice the bed width expansion bars installed on the HC107. There are two expansion bars on each section of the bed, head, upper leg, lower leg, and foot. Each bar has an expansion pin and locking knob, headboard and footboard mounting brackets. With the bed already in the highest position and locked in place, begin assembly with the mounting brackets. Unscrew the two black knobs on the underside of the bed assembly Slide the footboard mounting bracket onto the bed and secure by retightening both of the black knobs. Install the headboard mounting bracket on the bed and secure by tightening both of the knobs. Headboard and footboard. With the mounting plates on the headboard facing the bed, slide the mounting plate groove onto the headboard mounting bracket's vertical support. Insert the locking pin through the mounting plate into the headboard to secure the headboard in place. Repeat on the other mounting plate. Attach decorative headboard end pieces by sliding the ends into the external headboard vertical support brackets and lock with pin. Repeat the same procedure for footboard installation. Connection of footboard staff control. 
The staff control needs to be connected to the control box. Raise the foot deck to the highest position, then unplug the power cord. Caution! To avoid electrical hazard, you must unplug the power cord from the outlet before proceeding with next steps. Find the extension port on the side of the bed frame and hinge open the extension port cap. Plug the footboard staff control cord into the extension port and secure by pressing the extension port cap closed. Plug the power cord back into the wall outlet. Using the staff control panel, lower the foot of the bed to a flat position. Lower the bed to ensure the moving parts will not pinch or shear the cable. Raise the bed back to the highest position. Mattress retainer system and integrated width expansion adjustment. Next are the mattress retainers. The mattress retainers are designed to keep the mattress on the sleep surface. The length mattress retainer can be set at 80, 84, or 88 inches, and the width mattress retainers can be set at 35, 39, or 42 inches. Locate the mounting holes in the bed deck. Place the length mattress retainer on the bottom end of the bed at the appropriate setting for your mattress. Insert the width mattress retainers in the correct setting for your mattress. Repeat on the other side of the bed. To adjust the bed width, loosen the locking knob and pull the expansion pin. Move the expansion bar in or out as desired to match the mattress retainers. Release the knob once the bar is set at the appropriate width and tighten the locking knob. Wall Bumper Bar Now the wall bumper can be installed. Clip the wall bumper bar at the head end of the bed. Make sure the bumper bar foot stand is facing the floor. Insert the locking pins in the holes in each side appropriate for the length of mattress you are using. Side rails. Lastly, we can attach the side rails. To make attaching side rails easier, pull the top expansion adjustment bar out to the widest setting. Make sure to revert back to the correct position after attaching side rails. Adjust the side rails to the tallest position for easier access to the mounting holes. Unclip the metal snap ring and remove the metal pins from the mounting brackets. Remove the cover from the top two mounting holes on the side of the bed deck. Slide the U-shaped insert into the side rail bracket. Align the side rail mounting holes with the bed deck mounting holes. Reinsert the metal pins from the outside edge of the bed through the mounting holes and secure with snap rings on the inside edge of the bed deck. Make sure the snap rings are positioned in the groove of the metal rings. Tighten the interior screws. Return the extension bar to the appropriate width. Repeat this process on the other side of the bed. Bed assembly is complete, and now your mattress can be installed. Thank you for learning about the Home Care Hospital Beds Linacare HC107 High Low Hospital Bed. You can visit homecarehospitalbeds.com to find additional home medical equipment or schedule annual maintenance and repairs.